this is leg day. So yeah, if you're at home, feel free to do this workout with me. It's gonna be a whole body, well, lower body, but because we're holding weight, you're gonna feel it everywhere because you gotta hold the weight, use your core, use your back, but big focus on legs. I am going to grab a mat because we will be using the mat later. Actually, I'll go ahead and do it right now, okay? And I'm gonna set it up so you guys can see it. I did adjust the camera slightly. I know, after Eddie did such a good job, I did change it a little bit. I feel like this angle makes me look taller. You ever do that where you put the camera like right at your waist and face up? Because if you do it from up high and go look down, it makes short girls even shorter. I don't know. I'm just saying that's what I've noticed in angles, camera angles. Um, hey, T and Slothy, thanks for being here, you guys. I appreciate it. Hello, Tony Gunk, Slothy, T, Vodka. Hello. Oh, I can't scroll up, but thank you for being here. I appreciate it so much, you guys. Um, yes, and thank you for those that reached out. I was having a rough, I was having a rough weekend, y'all. And I know it happens to all of us, right? And that's why I ended up reaching out and just saying like, I'm struggling. What, what motivation, what inspiration can you give me? Advice can you give me right now? And you guys showed up. So many people sent me voice memos. So many people commented, messaged me. And I say that just to say thank you. Thank you, it meant so much to me. I can't even get through the comments because it makes me cry. <laughs> Because I'm just like so overwhelmed and grateful and thankful for each and every individual person. And so I'm just feeling overwhelmed, but also like overjoyed on what I have in my life. And I just thank you. And if you're struggling too, I just want you to know it's okay to reach out for help. It's okay to say you're struggling. And I know even in the social media world, it can be scary because, you know, people usually just post the highlight reels of their life and you don't feel like it's a safe space to share struggles. It is, okay? Especially when you especially when you start to make the right friends, have the right community that shows that support. That's everything, okay? I don't know where I'd be without my social media friends because they truly are more than social media friends. You know what I mean? So anyway, I hope you're doing well. Please reach out if you do need any help or support or a friend to hear you out. That's why I'm here too, okay? So thanks again for being here. And I just had those two songs to post. Um, they helped me feel incredibly. No, thank you so much. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. And music is big. I feel I feel the same way. It's like Tracy, when I feel like I need to, I need to like hear words of encouragement. Words are powerful, whether they're sung or they're spoken. Oh, just listen to the words and feel those emotions within yourself. And how does it relate to you? How does it relate to your life? How can you be more present and open? to opportunity and positivity and love. <laughs> it's when it goes into piano. My personal development for the day. All right, Indiana Jones helps too. Yes. <laughs> Eddie, are you commenting as me? But also, yes, he's reading my brain. Last night we did go and see Indiana Jones. It was so good. It was so beautiful. It was really a great end to the series. So go and, go and watch it. Highly recommend it. All right, without further ado, Yay, you liked it too. Okay, I'm so glad, Slothy. It was so good. All right, let's go ahead and just warm up the legs. Pull those abs in. You're just marching in place. And you can give me some arm circles, because again, we will be holding some weights. And we will get this party started. I'm wearing red, which might be a bad idea, because you know me and my crotch sweat. <laughs> oh well. I'm not gonna not wear the cute clothes. I don't care. If I get sweat everywhere, it is what it is. It just shows I'm working hard. All right, big circles back. And if you do the same, no shame in the sweat crotch game. I should go on a shirt. Maybe on pants, actually. Nice job. Couple more. You got it. Okay, I'm just gonna open up those hips and you're gonna walk around and around, just stepping up and out and then all the way around. Act like you're touching your hand or your elbow, okay? So if your hands are here, try to touch your hand to your elbow. And then take it wide. This is just opening up those hips, lubricating those joints, keeping that core tight, focusing on your balance too, right? That standing leg, how you doing? Whenever you would do weightlifting, I do recommend, and I've actually, run, I've actually used running shoes before. 
kind of a no-no. <laughs> so, switch this move, kick it. So we're just switching to a kick hamstring stretch. Now I say wear flatter shoes, like these are really nice and flat, so that you can really ground yourself and focus on the strength move. It'll help with your balance too. And also, you do wanna wear shoes, I recommend at least, when you're doing strength training. But I've seen people drop weights on their toesies. It's not nice. That's not nice at all. Thanks for being here. I bet see. Hello, hello. You wreck some Teen Transformers on Tuesday. So fun. Er, Jared is so fun. Have fun with that. Last one. Nice job. All right. I'm going to show this from the side just so you can kind of see the movement. What I want you to do is a three part move. You're going to squat, then you're going to hinge, and then you're going to squat and you're gonna stand, okay? Do it again. We go squat, hinge, stretch your hamstrings, drop, and then take it back up. So push the weight in the heels, in the center of the foot, drop, and lift. So you're really stretching out the hips, and maybe as you do this, it is difficult, so you can, you can shorten your range of motion. So squat, push your hips back, almost straighten your knees, drop again, chest stays lifted, stand up. Chest stays lifted as you do this, okay? Push those hips back so it's flat back here. Then drop, lift your chest, pull your abs in, stand up tall. Hello, Dalik. Dalik kills. Thanks for being here. And lift it up. Couple more, okay? Just warming up that body. Right down in, right buddy. Good boy. Let's do one more. One more. You got it. Nice job. All right, how do we feel? Are we warmed up? I'm gonna go ahead and get the Tabata timer started. All right. Hi, buddy. Hey, Batman. Eddie, Batman did a big old poopy outside. I was so proud of him. Yeah, you did a poopy, which means he poops and pees at the same time. It's a mess, but that's just how he does it. Hi, what's up? Okay, what am I doing? What am I doing with my life? The ultimate dog coach. <laughs> he really is, though. He really is. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and first get my camera set up real quick, because I'll probably be sharing this circuit later. Laters. Oh, Batman, why you gotta do that? On my mat. Come on. So gross. Oh, yeah, you guys saw that. Somebody clip it. That'll be good advertisement for my uh, stream. So fun. <laughs> What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? It's fine. I love him so much, I can't complain. All right, here we go. Okay, I think we're good here. We got this. I'm gonna chug. That's called the itch and the butt drag, everybody. <laughs> exactly. By a professional dog, butt scratch error. Batman, I don't even know what I'm saying. All right. Unlike my boss's Jack Russell who went to poop and a hair got stuck. Oh, that's the worst. Eddie's actually had to like remove hair while he's going. So sad, so sad. <gasps> Poor little buddy. Okay, so what I want you to do here, we kind of prep some of those movements. So I'm gonna actually lift, let's see, I think I can do 12s with this move. I took a good three days off of working out. Felt good. Now we got 20 seconds, so I'm gonna just show you the move. Your shoulders are rolled back. I'm showing you from the side, so you can do it with me. You're gonna squat, you're gonna hinge, and then you are going to stand, okay? So instead of a squat, hinge, squat, I just want you to first squat here, then push those hips back, and then squeeze the glutes as you come up, okay? Ready, set, shoulders back, and go. Pull your abs in, push through your heels, almost straighten your legs, stand up tall into that deadlift. You got it, down, hinge, Squeeze it all the way up, nice and slow, right? So it's down, hinge forward, squeeze the glutes, stand up tall, shoulders back and down, do it again. Down, hinge, squeeze the glutes as you come up. So notice that squeeze, you gotta squat, down, and hinge, stand tall, shoulders are back. Remember, the whole time, squat. Yeah, it's gonna be, <laughs> you're right. You're right, T-Rex, it's all Batman. <laughs> Ruining my street, so maybe not. And squeeze it all the way up. Nice job, perfect. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead. Batman, they're, they're telling on you. I love it. Now, make sure you move out of the way, bud. I'm gonna do a backwards lunge, and I'm gonna stay on the same leg, okay? We'll do left and then right. So take it back, so down, and give me a knee raise as you do this. Pull your abs in. Now you can always hold the weights up. Go ahead and start. The clock already started. I don't know if you can see it. Down, down, lift, squeeze. Back, back, up, core tight, back. Shoulders dropped, showing you from the side. So you can see this movement. So go ahead and do it with me. Whoo, you got it. It goes down, down, up, and up. Pushing through that front heel. So we're really working. It's my right leg. It might be your left. But don't worry. We're gonna do both sides. Down, down, lift. And I am kissing the floor with my knee. Go ahead and stop there. Good job. We're gonna go ahead and switch that. Whew. Let's get your heart rate up. You ready for it? Three. Ah, uh, it's more like six seconds. Okay, ready? Take it back. We go down, down, lift the knee. Again. Down, down, lift, and lift. Pull your abs in. Woo! Hopefully you're doing the other leg. Woo! You got this. Chest stays lifted. Watch your form. You wanna bend both knees about 90 degrees. I didn't step back far enough for that last one. That's okay. Make sure the weight is in the center of your front foot. If you struggle with this move, limit your range of motion. Okay. There's always options. You can limit your range of motion. You can drop your weights. Woo! Drop right there. Is your heart rate up yet? I know mine is. All right, shoulders back and down. We're gonna repeat that. Anybody else forget to breathe? All right, knees soft, shoulder width apart. Here we go, squat, down, down. Hinge, hinge, squeeze it all the way up. Do it again, shoulders back, down, down, hinge, hinge, squeeze. Core tight, weight in your heels, hinge, squeeze the glutes on the way up, weights close to your body, do it again. Squat, squat, hinge forward, stand tall, squeezing your glutes, good job. So again, from the front, it looks like that, knees and toes, Point forward, do it again. Down, down, straighten your legs. Almost, almost straighten. That's what's important here. We're never locking out our joints because we want to keep woo, the circulation going. Let's do one more, just for fun. I know you can. Nice job. I probably could have lifted it heavier, but I probably want to get one more rep in, okay? So stand at the front. We're going to take a big step back. Ready? Here we go. Down down lift and lift down down lift yep and if you notice my patreon is shared i do have classes what you can do there is get access to my live zoom classes at the gym if you like the idea of dance fitness bar classes um drumming hit the floor classes and what's nice is you actually get access to over 35 recorded classes. When you join the Sweat Elite tier, what you get there is woo, a little more support. You got this. Down, down, push through that front heel. Give me one more. We're gonna go for it. All right, there we go. Shoulders back and down. Stand tall, knees soft. Ready? Set. I'm just gonna start. Down, down, lift lift back down lift and lift so we're focusing on our whole leg here really focusing on ankle support balance thank you alex thank you for following i appreciate it so this is what to expect when you work out with me Woo! i'm your sweaty bestie sarah and you'll soon know why because i sweat like a mother a motro, <laughs> a mother trucker, that's what I meant to say. Don't worry, keep it clean. Down, down, it's a mother truck. <laughs> you got it. Woo! Down, down, lift and lift. Okay, 
I'm gonna stop there. And actually, I need to tighten these shoes because my heel is coming out. I forgot I actually loosened this up. Okay, we've got one minute starting now. All right, tie your shoes if you need to. Get some pre-workout in you. Grab a towel. I know you're sweating like I am. Probably. I know I am. All right. There we go. Perfect. All right, we're going to do some more variations. Got about 30 seconds. Woo! Yeah, Batman, Batman clips are the best. Yeah, I'm talking about you, buddy. Good job, you guys. All right. We're going to add on. So instead of a back lunge single leg, we're going to be doing a single leg deadlift. So you're already familiar with the deadlift move. Now I what I want you to do is just hold one weight and you're going to try to do it that way. Can you do it? I know you can. I know you can. All right. I'm going to lift up a 20 here. First, we're going to start with a goblet squat. Take your toes out, knees out, feet wider than hip width apart and toes point out. Ready? We're going to go down. Up halfway, down, lift. Ready, set, go. Down, halfway, down, raise it up. Down, halfway, down, squeeze it up. You got it. Halfway up. Notice how the chest is lifted. The top and the bottom part of the weight are touching. So guys, you should be able to do this. Ladies, with a small chest like me, you'll also be able to do this, okay? I just say that just to show you the form. Obviously, if you're more well endowed, just touch the top part, okay? And if it hurts, you can hold it like this, okay? All right, let's stop there. Put those feet together. Hold the weight here, shoulders back and down. Toe is back. You can start with this if you're a little bit nervous about your balance, okay? Shoulders back, I'll do one to show you. Down, down, lift and lift. It's a little bit fast, so I'm gonna slow it down. You don't have to go to the beat. Just try to go at the same pace. You start with one leg, so you can do the same on the other leg. I'm gonna slow it way down. I'm gonna do four and four. Count it out. Goes one, two, three, four. Back up, two, three, four, and down. Notice how the leg I'm standing on is bent. The back leg is straight, and the back toe points down. A common mistake, people tend to open their hips. I don't want you to do that. I want you to square your, square your hips, square your shoulders. I almost cuss. <laughs> okay, we're gonna switch that leg. Again, from the side, shoulders back and down. Whew! Knee is soft. Feel that butt sweat coming. Ready? Here we go. Take it down and take it back up nice and slow. I'm gonna hold the weight like this. One, two. One, two, shoulders back. Two. Nice job. Remember your standing knee is soft. Find your balance, maybe you're here. What's important here is making sure you're maintaining a flat back. You're leading with your chest. Even if your leg is down and the leg that's working is the one you're standing on. You're squeezing that glute as you come up. Otherwise you're here. Woo! This side is harder, y'all. I am sweating here already. Whenever I work big muscle groups, I always feel it. Last one. Good job. All right, it says rest, but we only have 15 seconds because we're gonna repeat that. Goblet squat, hold the weight. Feet hip width, then take it out. Toes point out, chest stays lifted. Drop those hips, come up halfway. Drop those hips all the way. Notice at the top of this movement, the knees are not locked. Keep your knees soft, okay? Down, up, down, all the way up. Do it again. Down, halfway, down, all the way. More like three fourths. So 50% up, drop, and 75 up. Down, up halfway, down, 75% of the way, drop. Core stays tight, drop. And you'll notice as you start to continue to work out with me, 
up right there you're gonna become more flexible so trust the process Wednesdays we do mobility work so make sure you show up shoulders back and down kick stand that leg squeeze that booty ready set here we go we go one two three four lift two three four if you're lifting a heavy weight I want you to go slow focus on your form push those hips back how are your shoulders are they back and down how's your back is it flat are your hips square shoulders and hips point the same direction as your back toe flexed and pointed down towards the floor how's your mindset check in with yourself are you saying this is too hard i can't do this because i want you to know you can you can do anything in this life if you just give yourself permission to try all right i'm gonna stop there Whew, shake it out you want to keep moving i don't want you to pass out okay let's go ahead and switch that leg all right shoulders rolled back and down what is leg day i've been going to the gym for four years and i've never heard something like day leg day <laughs> Woo! here we go down and back up oh hanoli i love it. this is when we focus on just legs i like to really challenge myself and devote one workout to just legs tomorrow come back we're gonna do bts it's biceps triceps and shoulders and come back again wednesday core and mobility thursday is chest and back friday is full body so you're gonna see some of these moves but adding a compound movement trust me you're gonna feel it it's gonna be so good Woo! one more be soft and stop right there nice job wow you guys feel it i know i do all right what are we doing we're gonna take a break we got one minute okay now i gotta wipe this sweat off because i feel it all right we're gonna do one more circuit now you i would recommend actually you can lift a medium weight with this and then i'm gonna go ahead and grab oh why not make it why not make me feel it i'm gonna grab a loop band let's see i don't know i'm scared of the black yeah i'm not gonna do the black <laughs> i'm gonna do the purple today all right you're gonna need a loop band if you don't have one don't worry about it you're still gonna get a great workout Go ahead and put it above your knees. All right. Oh, I have a couple mats or towels here. Okay, downside is you start when I'm back at work. I'm so sorry. Yes, watch the recording. You will see it. It's also on my YouTube channel. All right, here we go. Take it down. Tailbone is under, squeeze it. Now, what I want you to do here is just go out and back in. I'm gonna bring my heels together, toes slightly out. Tailbone is tucked, squeeze your glutes out. And come all the way in with this. I want you to get an outside leg workout and an inside leg workout. So we go out, in, out, in. Now, imagine I come over and I'm going to punch your abs right now. What do you do? You tighten it because you don't want to feel it. Whoa, hi, Batman. <laughs> so I want you to do that right now, okay? Tighten your core. So if you were to, somebody punches you, you wouldn't feel it. And your tailbone is tucked under. You're squeezing your glutes. This is a great full lower body move right here. We got glutes, hamstrings, abductors, adductors. Everything is working. All right, little break. Next move you're gonna do, woo, Batman. Okay, stop right here, bud. Next move you're gonna do, bring your feet together. Take one leg up. Now I just want you to pulse. Lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. Keep going. If you don't have a loop band, you can always lift it up higher. I'm just taking it lower for added challenge. Okay, so your knees can stay together. Tailbone is under. If you start feeling your low back, drop your toe, but push the majority from one heel. The toe is just there for a little bit of support. Okay, you're still squeezing. Core is tight, tailbone is under, and you're really working that one glute. <laughs> Batman, buddy, keep going. I love you, buddy, I love you. Come on. Woo! Oh my gosh. I'm feeling it, man. I'm gonna cross my leg because I need a break. 
All right, little breather. Rest for about 10, 15 seconds, and then we're gonna switch that. Woo! Oh, okay, bud, okay. Ready for it? Remember, feet together, squeeze. Oh, thank you for the love, thank you for the follow. I can't see your name right now. I'm too far away. But thank you for being here, thank you for following. Lift, lower, lift, lower, lift. Remember, now it's, it's I'm working my left leg. If you're facing the same way I am, it's probably your right. Hi, buddy, I love you. Hi, back. You just wanna be close, come here. Oh, look at that little face. Oh, thank you for the kisses. I love you. I'm about to Keep going. This look weird. <laughs> Probably. Okay. Bye bye. It's getting weird. Squeeze. Woo. <laughs> He's like, what are you doing, mom? Squeeze. Okay, Batman. That's enough. No more kisses. No more. I should not say the word kiss because he thinks that means do it. All right, little break again. Okay, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. You guys, we're going to repeat that. Bring those heels close to your butt. Squeeze your core. Tuck your tailbone under. All right, out and in, out and in, ready, set, go. Out and in, out and in. Tuck your tailbone, really working those glutes, really working those hamstrings. Right, Batman? Yes. <laughs> he's not, I mean, I don't think he's putting his butt in my face, but it probably looks like it. <laughs> you got this, you guys. I'll see myself out. Jared, I don't know what I've said this before. Bicep tool. <laughs> I have been working biceps. You guys come back on Tuesdays because we definitely work everything. Why do you look so weird in my video? He does not look this weird. Okay, but I will scoot you back. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Squeeze the booty. Keep it up. All right, drop it down. Bring your knees in. I would hold my knees, but the dog is being weird. Okay, you guys ready? Last two moves. Bring those heels back down, squeeze your tailbone, core is tight, squeeze your butt, lift one leg, up, down, squeeze. Woo! Now, I even said if you wanna use a weight eater, you can. Honestly, I don't think we need it, because it's a minute and a half of single leg presses that we're pushing through the heel, squeezing the glutes, mostly on the leg that's bent. The leg that's straight, you don't really feel it, but the leg that's, woo! That's bent, the one that's pushing through the bottom heel. That's working super hard. Squeeze. And I'm trying to keep my tailbone under. If I feel it in my low back, I'm gonna drop it here, just like that, okay? That's actually gonna help alleviate because my back started to help out and I'm trying to just get my glute and my hamstring to work. We're almost there. Three, two, one. Drop it down. Woo! We're gonna switch that. You guys ready for it? Thanks, Batman. I know I'm a salty snack right now, buddy. All right, drop it down. Extend your leg, ready? Lift it up. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Somebody just needs so much attention today. It's okay, he was comforting me <laughs> this weekend. So I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna give him love too. Actually, he's just trying to give me love. He's trying to lick my face off. Squeeze, make sure you're tucking your tailbone under. If you don't squeeze your glutes, they're not gonna engage, so be conscious of this. Push through that heel, you're almost there. You're almost there. I have so much dog hair in my mouth right now. Woo, squeeze, squeeze. Come on, we got this, five seconds. Wow, I gotta cross my leg, this is getting hard. All right, thanks Batman. He'll set on my face. Guess what? We're done. That was a hard leg day. I don't know about you guys, but I am feeling it. That was 21 minutes. I hope you worked hard too. And I hope you're feeling it. I hope you feel stronger. Yeah, Batman, thanks for the reminder. We're gonna get our stretch on. Oh, itchy booty. There we go. All right. I know I do this thing with the dog. I'm like, itchy booty. <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah. Right there, right there, right there's a spot. Okay, all right, how are we doing? How are we doing on the level of crotch sweat? Oh yeah, it's there. We worked it! <laughs> Woo! All right, what are we doing? We are going to stretch. Oh, I've got sweat all over my mat. Wow. This also has caffeine in it. 
Kenyan Purple Tea. It's on my website. If you need a good pre-workout, it's super good. Made from plants. Good stuff. All right, here we go. Let's get to it, shall we? Let's go ahead and stretch it out. Now, I'm gonna just walk it out. Let the, let the blood still flow a little bit. Thank you again for being here, you guys. We're gonna stretch for the next like three to five minutes. And here's why. Because I want you to come back, not as sore tomorrow, because tomorrow you're probably gonna be like, oh, I'm so sore, I can't do Sarah's workout. Yes, you can. Tell yourself right now. Set a timer on your phone right now. Message me and tell me you're gonna be there. Accountability, right? So. We're gonna do that together. That's what we're here for, right? Okay, so I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see this. And also I won't slip on my mat because I'm stepping on it. Big step back, okay? Can you go a little bit further here than you did in your lunge? And I don't want you to tuck your tailbone under. There we go. Can you go even a little bit lower? Can you lean forward with it? Woo, I feel it. And even, actually I like to tuck my tailbone under. So keep your shoulders over your hips. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to stretch the calf, trying to stretch the hip flexor. We need it. Thanks again, you guys. Woo! But we stretch because I want you to get deeper in your lunges, deeper in your squats. Have a better workout. If you're going to work hard, don't you want to get the most out of it? Don't waste time, right? 21 minutes. I, I strength train just four times a week. 21 minutes. Okay? I'm not including my stretch, but that's the, the bulk of the workout. You just saw it. So keep coming back. All right, we're going to hinge forward. And then stay here, stretching out that hamstring, okay? Couple options here, you can either stay here or you can bend that back leg, drive that heel down, toe is up. Shoulders back, hips back. So there's a couple different ways to stretch that hamstring. So play with it. Maybe you're like, oh yeah, I feel it here. Then do that. If you feel it more when you go like this and you can support your body weight with that bent knee, then do that. Actually feel it more here, so I'm gonna stick with this one for at least 20 seconds. Woo! I hope you guys are feeling good. I know I'm feeling better. I actually did take off three days of working out. Sometimes you just don't have the mental energy for it, and I get that. So I did. I took it, took those days off, and did a lots of self-care in different ways. Right? All right. Switch that leg. Big step back with your other leg. Tailbone is under. You can bend that knee to get deeper into that lunge. You're stretching that leg back as straight as you can. Shoulders over your hips. Tailbone is tucked under. So you're getting that stretch in the hip flexor, which is the front of the leg of that straight back leg. Woo! Hope you guys are feeling good. I truly feel like fitness does mimic real life. Sometimes it just hurts. Sucks. You get uncomfortable, you're sweaty, right? Might even cry sometimes. But you get on the other side of it and you take a shower and you're so darn proud of yourself. Step in halfway, push those hips back. You can always put the weight right below the knee, stretching that hamstring. Or what I like to do is just take that back leg, now bend it, sink into that squat, heel down, toe up of that front leg. You got it. Good job, you guys. Whew. Thanks again for being a part of this journey with me. Got sweat dripping down here. So again, we're gonna work out every day this week. We've got this, we can do hard things. I know we can. Woo! Nice job. Now I'm gonna do this next stretch. If you feel uncomfortable, you can come up out of it at any point. What it looks like, legs are wide. You're going to come down and you're gonna stretch the inner thigh, okay? Now, you can stay here with it, or you can also, I like to go down onto the floor and sit into it this way, okay? This is a great stretch. You're trying to keep your heel on the ground. Again, listen to your body. You might be here and working your way down towards that. Awesome, okay? Do what works for you. Eventually, you're gonna sit down into that heel and then you're gonna be able to switch to the other side, okay? Now I notice also when I do this stretch, whoo, I feel it on the outside of my ankle. That's a great stretch. Good ankle mobility, so important too, okay? So play with it. And then we're gonna take it to the other side. We'll spend about 15, 20 seconds on each side. We're gonna do it twice, okay? Because I want you to really feel it so you get further, 
deeper into the stretch. Nice job. And again, play with it. Maybe you drop that foot down. I can feel it more in my inner thigh when I drop that foot. And I can feel it more in my hamstring when I drop and feel the down toe is up. So do what, where you're like, oh yeah, I feel that stretch. Hold it a little bit longer. If it's painful, obviously come up out of it. Readjust. All right, let's go ahead and switch again. Work your way to the other side. Woo! You wanna expand while you do this. Open your chest, especially when you work in a sweaty kitchen too. Yeah, oh, I bet. I know, right? It's probably hard to come back and do it, I know. But just know that it's only 21 minutes, even if you did half of it, right? I would say start with the one circuit, you know, warm up and then do that first circuit, it's, it's six minutes. You might just be able to last longer because that's about, that's about 10 minutes into a workout when you do the warm up and then you do the first circuit because that circuit lasts six minutes. Um, so just give yourself that 10 minute. 10 minutes and see how you feel. You wanna keep going, awesome. If you're like, you know what? My body needs a break. You still did something, right? What do I always say? Start with 10 minutes. Start with a warm up. Start with movement, just a little bit. A little bit more movement. Good job, you guys. All right, let's go ahead and roll it up. Bring those feet in. We're gonna stretch two more stretches. Super important here. Quadricep stretch. Woo! Feel it. If you feel a little dizzy, Give yourself a little bit of motion. Get the blood flowing, okay? Now I'm gonna stand, but make sure you stand with one knee bent, bring your foot back, tailbone is under. If you cannot lift that leg, I want you to hold it. You are focusing on your balance here, okay? Grab a towel, maybe loop it around your ankle, pull it towards you, okay? Eventually you're gonna get there. And when you focus on your balance, it's still awesome, okay? So that's what I always try to tell people. If you are holding your leg, Tuck your tailbone under, bring your knees together, bring your heel close to the butt. If you can touch it, stay in that position, pull that foot close. So from here, it looks like that. Woo! Nice job, you guys. Let's go ahead and switch that. You're standing on the other leg, knee is soft, tailbone is under, shoulders back and down. Woo! If you have a mirror, use it. I mean, during this, it's not too much, but. Even when I was lunging, I was making sure my form was safe, effective. So I say those cues so that you can adjust as we go through the workout. But what's nice is being able to see yourself in real time, maybe in a, in a mirror or you film yourself and you see where you can adjust. It's a great way to improve on something. Watch yourself, right? All right, last and final stretch. We need this one for glutes. If you have a chair, sit in it. Do you wanna try this standing? Cross one leg over above the knee. Push those hips back, bend the knee you're standing on. Drive that heel out, flex your foot, and then drive that knee down. You're gonna feel the stretch in that glute of that leg that's up. So if we're mirroring each other, your right leg. Nice job. Remember, shoulders back and down. Hi, Devin. Hi, buddy. Good boy. <laughs> so cute. Nice job. Remember, we're going to hold a stretch anywhere between 20 to 45 seconds. I honestly feel it's more like 30 to 45. Oh, thanks, bud. You going to help me stretch? Good job. Yeah, we're working it today, aren't we, buddy? Yeah, we are. Good job. This is, has been a Sarah and Batman sweat stream. Bless you. He's recovering. We worked that hard. Go ahead and switch that leg. Push that booty out. Nice job. Flex that foot. Woo! You got it. From the front, looks like that. Shoulders back and down. You got this. Woo! Nice work. Remember, 30 to 45. We got this. If you don't feel this in your glutes, sit in a chair, at the edge of a chair. Back is flat, push your chest forward, push your hips back, drive that knee down. I don't know about you, but I feel it. I mean, I hope you're feeling it, probably. Nice job. All right, let's come up out of it. Good work. Hey. We did it. Thanks again for joining me. I've still got some 
good juice left. I'm gonna add this to my 40 ounce water bottle. And this is what I sip on throughout the day. Keeps me hydrated. So keep drinking your water, you guys. It is summertime. Even if it wasn't summertime, I would still say, drink your water.